For more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates, visit my website civilbasics123.com. Go to Google and type civilbasics123.com. So click on enter option so that my website will be open here like this. Okay. My website will be open here like this. It will be consisting of complete detailed concepts related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates. Okay. You can click on any one of the concept as per your consideration. It will be consisting of detailed concepts here. Okay. So visit my website for more interesting updates civilbasics123.com. In this video lecture, I will explain you analysis and designing of complete G plus 10 T shape irregular building by using E type software. So I was already done the modeling process. I was already done the analysis process for that particular building structure. Initially, I will show you the model. Then after that, I will explain you how to design that particular structure by using E type software. CSI version. Okay. So for that, just I'm selecting my E-type software here. So this is my building model, which is consisting of the T shape. Okay. So firstly, I will show you the properties which is involved in this particular section. So go to define option, click on the material properties. So for this building, I was consider M30 grade concrete provision and a 500 grade steel provision. So again, in the same process, we have to see the uh, section property, which is related to the beam size column size. So, so here I'm selecting frame sections. So here I'm selecting this beam, click on modify property. So the beam size which is consisting of 460 cross 350 section I was considered here and select the column section click on modify option. So here I have just selected 460 mm cross 460 mm for the column section. In the same process I will show you the slab thickness go to select the section property slab section. So here I was taken the 150 mm slab thickness for the particular structure. Okay. So for this structure I was taken the load cases which is comes under the category of uh, dead loading condition, live loading condition, seismic loading condition as well as the wind loading condition for the uh, gravity loading condition as well as the lateral loading condition systems. Okay. So I was applied the load cases for this structure. Again I was taken the load combinations as per the considerations of the IS456 and IS1893 codal provision. Okay. So again after uh, applying the load combination we need to analyze the structure. Go to analyze option. So click on the set load cases to run option run now here. Okay. So that it will do the analysis process for this respective structure under considerations of the different types of the load cases and different considerations irregular T shape building structure. Now you can see this is the deflection of the building under considerations of your uh, dead loading condition. If you want to see the shear force diagram click on the force st stresses option select PS Pandela force select shear 2 to option click on apply so that it will display the shear force diagram as per the consideration. In the same process you can select the moment 3 3 option click on apply option so that it will display the bending moment diagram for the respective structure select the torsion option click on apply. Okay, so now we can see it will display the torsion diagram for this respective structure. Now we have to design this uh, T shape irregular building as per the IS 456-2000 codal provision RCC section. So for that initially we need to unlock this model. Initially we need to add the strip condition system for the slab. For that go to click on edit option, add edit grid strips option, grid strips option. Select the story number 10, just I am selecting here x direction with strip layer is A. Click on apply option so that it will apply the uh, grid layer for the respected 10 story in horizontal direction. In the same process I am selecting y direction condition with the strip layer is B. Click on apply so that it will apply the y direction condition for the 10th story. In the same process I am selecting the 5th story here and select the direction is x condition and with strip layer is A option, click on apply option. So that it will apply the strip condition system at the fifth story. In the same process, I am selecting the direction will be Y, which is of B direction. Click on apply option so that it will apply the strip condition for the Y direction condition. So here I am uh, taking the two types of the slabs, which is at uh, 10th story as well as the fifth story. But for designing of the building structure with uh, real time projects, you need to consider all the slab section with the strip condition system. Okay. So here I am selecting OK option for this respected add edit grid strips condition system. Okay. So after that, we have to do the analysis process again. Go to analyze option. Set load cases to run option again. Again, click on the run now option. Okay. So that it will do the analysis process for the respective structural consideration with the considerations of the grid systems. Okay. In both uh, fifth story as well as the tenth story. Okay. Now we have to design the structure. So this is the deflection diagram with the considerations of the strip condition. Go to click on the design, concrete frame design. Select the view revised preferences as per the IS 456-2000 code. So again, we have to click on the design, concrete frame design, click on the start design check option. So that it will start the designing of your respected beams and column section as per the considerations of the IS 456-2000 codal provision. 
So now we can see it was done with resigning of your respected beam sign columns. Now we have to design the slab. Go to select here. Click on the revised option. Select IS 456-2000. Click on OK. Again you have to select this respected option. Select the stories. So here I am selecting 10th story as well as the 5th story. For this consideration you can click on the OK option. Again I am selecting here. Click on the start designing check option. So that it will start designing check for the respected slabs which is of 10th slab as well as the 5th slab for this respected structure ok so now it is checking for the 10th slab then after that it will check for the respected 5th slab with the considerations of the reinforcement value so that it will load the final uh, longitudinal reinforcement value as well as the confinemental reinforcement value for the two types of the slab section for the stories ok now we can see this is the strip design layer for the respected A section now we have to save this model by using Control S option so now here I am saving this respected option so now we have to close this uh, ETAP software so after uh, closing the ETAP software, we need to import this particular T-shape building structure to the CSI detailing version software. In CSI detailing version software, you can design the uh, structure as per IS456-2000 codal provision standards. Okay. So here I am selecting CSI detailing version software. Now we have to click on the new file option, new detailing option. Select the uh, structure name. Yes. So here I am selecting a structure name is T-shape building, T-shape option. So initially the model will be open in uh, ETAP software then after that it will be directly imported to this uh, CSI detailing version software. Now you can see here, here the model was open in ETAP software, it was importing the data which is comes under the uh, grid section, story sections, joint sections as well as the frame section for the considerations of uh, T-shape irregular building. Now it was imported here like this. So firstly we have to select the detailing units as per the SI system here and select the force will be in kilonewton and rebar will be of turn option. Click on OK. Select the preferences. So select as per IS 456-2000. Click on OK. Detailing preferences option. You can select the B option to some beam here and column option to some C here and wall option to some W here. So click on uh, OK option here and select the uh, rebar rules option here. And you can select the minimum cover as well as the maximum spacing here. Just I am selecting minimum spacing is 120. Maximum will be of 450 here. So here I am taking 120, 120, 120. Again I am selecting maximum spacing value will be of 450. And this is also 450. This is also 450 here. And select the columns. Just I am selecting here as 120 option. Again I am selecting this particular value is 450 value here. Okay. So click on the OK option. Again, we have to select the OK option for this respected consideration. Okay, so that it will start designing your respected uh, beam sections, column sections, as well as the slab with the considerations of the load cases. Now it was done with detailing for the different types of the uh, floors. So initially we need to click on the 10th floor. It will be consisting of the uh, floor framing plan, rebar plan option here uh, for the respected consideration. Again, in the same process, you can load the, load the top rebar plan for the considerations of the uh, 10th slab as per this. So select the bottom rebar plan again. Again, you can select the all rebar plan as per the consideration. Just I'm selecting all rebar plan option here like this. Okay. So that it will load the top rebar plan as well as the bottom rebar plan for the building structure. Okay. In the same process, you can select the rebar cage view option here like this. So that it will load the final rebar cage view option for the building structure with the considerations of the uh, uh, realistic view option. Okay. It will be consisting of horizontal bars and vertical bars for the respected X direction as well as the Y direction for the 10th slab. In the same process, you can load the another floor uh, dimensions uh, for the respected considerations also. Okay. Now we can see this is the final output which is consisting of your respected slab reinforcement value for the T-shape building. Okay. So again, in the same process, we have to see the beam results option. Select this option. Select the elevation section. Select any one of the floor. Next time selecting here like this. So click on this option. So that it will load the beam reinforcement section at the A section, B section, C section. You can select the rebar cage view directly. So that it will load the rebar cage view for this respected considerations here like this. In the same process, we have to select the column designing section. Select the column section. Select the column designing elevation section. Select any one of the column. Next time selecting elevation 1, 2, 3 options. Select the A section. Okay, this is the A section for the consideration. And this is the B section. Directly click on the rebar KG option for the respected consideration. It will be consisting of 5 bars and 5 bars for the respected section here. So totally it will be consisting of 16 number of the 16 mm diameter bar for the respected 460 mm cross 460 mm column section. This is the final output which is comes under this column section okay which is consisting of 16 number of the 16 mm diameter bar for the respected consideration okay so these are the stirrups which is comes under this column section
okay this is the complete process of analysis and designing of t shaped irregular building by using uh, e tap software if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions thank you